we get that really cool delayed vibey echo effect. What's up guys, it's Anders. In this FL Studio tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add an echo effect to any sound in FL Studio. Do you want to get your music onto the likes of Spotify, Apple Music, even TikTok? Keep 100% of your earnings and get paid monthly if you choose? Get into those stores up to 20 times faster than some other distributors and do it all at a ridiculously low yearly price. Check out the channel sponsor, DistroKid. Okay guys, so adding an echo effect in FL Studio is most often going to be referred to as either a delay or a reverb. Those are the two options that are most commonly used. You're going to use one for a slightly different effect to the other. A reverb is just many short delays, whereas a delay allows you to get more of that echo type feel. I'm going to show you how we can do both in FL Studio and we can apply them to any bit of audio. So let's jump into that now. Okay guys, so we've got this really simple beat here. I'm just gonna use this as our example today for adding an echo effect or a reverb delay. Let's have a look at how we would do it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add it onto the piano just here, which is this beautiful bit just here. What I want to do is just make it so it has its own little double up or perhaps just give it its own kind of sound and space. So the very first thing that we need to do to make sure this effect is systematic and works for us every time and is nice and under control is to make sure we've got the piece of audio sent to an audio track. So if I double click on this up here, we can see we've got track and it's sent to track 19. Now I just have that named as instrument. But if we select it over here on the mixer, press F2, we can just rename it. I'm going to recolor it so it stands out to us as well. We'll have something else that's not in there already. So this bright pink now. So we can see everything's now sent to that track, right? Beautiful. Now we can place the effect directly onto the piano, but for things like reverb and delay, it's better to have them on a bus as you can have separate control over them. It also means if you want to have other things have that same kind of feel and space, we can just send them to the bus and the effect is already there. We don't have to set it up and change it on each individual channel. So the way to do that is make sure we've got our correct channel selected. As you can see, it's highlighted in green and across the bottom here, you've got all these white arrows on all your mixer channels, right? What we need to do is send it to a blank channel. So we're going to scroll along just a bit, look, and we've got insert 28 here. It's completely blank. We're going to press this and it's going to now send to that channel. If I now play the piano, it's going to play twice as loud. It's being doubled up because it's being sent to channel 28 and 28 itself is going out to our master. Okay, let's just name and color channel 28. So we're going to highlight it, press F2. Now if we select our piano again, we can see that on the delay, we've got this control here. This is how much volume being sent to this new channel we've called delay. If I turn it all the way down, piano just plays as is. If I turn it all the way up, it's considerably louder, okay? This allows us to control how much of the effect is going to be in place. So let's highlight the delay and we can now just press F8 and we are going to go and grab a delay and we'll just use the Fruity Delay 3, pop that on there. And now selecting our piano again, we're going to play back and slowly introduce this level here and we'll hear the delay slowly come in. we can just use that to balance how much of the level we want there to be. Now we're not going to deep dive into delay today, but the most important thing you want to really look at is going to be your delay time. I will often just have it on tempo sync. But I'm just going to bring the time to something relevant. Yeah, like a steady four to keep it on a four on the floor style pattern. That just gives us that nice delay effect. Now, the other thing we can do to give the piano its own kind of space is something that's a little bit closer to an echo, but you don't get an exact replication of the sound, but it helps you feel like the piano's in its own space. Let's create another channel again, and we're going to link it to the piano just like we have. And we're going to rename this one Reverb. 
In my case, I'm just going to go verb. And again, we'll assign it a color just so it stands out. If we click on the color wheel here, we can use recently used colors and we'll have the same blue that was done for the delay. So on here, we'll just place one of the reverbs that are available in FL Studio. So we can press F8 again to bring this up, plugin picker. If we go down to delay reverb just here, we can just pick free to reverb too pop that on. Now for the time being, I'm just going to disable the delay so we can hear what the reverb effect is doing. So remember, we've got our balance here, just going to determine how much of the piano goes to here. So we'll have it off and I'll just introduce it so we can hear what it's doing. When it comes to a reverb, we need to make sure we've taken the dry setting down. If we were to place the reverb directly on the piano, we want the dry. That's the original signal. But in this instance, we don't want that. What we really want, we want the early reflections and the wet signal. And we can make a balance between the two of those. But for the example, here, we'll just put them both up to full volume. So now let's select our piano again and let's just check how it sounds when we bring it in. So it gives us a real sense of space now. If we take it away, kind of miss it. It's very natural to bring it in, even though we've done quite a lot of it. Now, when we combine the two, we get that really cool delayed vibey echo effect. And that guys is how you can introduce an echo effect to any of your audio channels in FL Studio, step by step. It's ever so slightly if it's an instrument channel. For example, let's just take our hat just here. We just have to make sure that we're sending it to a track. We to take something like the Harmer patch in here. Again, just make sure it's being sent to a track. Know where that track is, and then you can link it in and delay it with anything you like. Hope that video has been helpful for you guys, and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.